wrote with Lenny Kravitz and we recorded it in his, in his house. He's got a studio in his house in Miami. It looks like Clockwork Orange sort of meets 2001. It's rather Kubrick. So I arrived off the plane from London and just walked in the house and they said, well, I've got the track. And so he played me this track. For it. And so I said, well, what's the, is there any tune? And there's not really a tune. Has there any words yet? And there's not any words. So. So he said, well, can you just like write them? So I said, all right. He said, well, can you do it now? And I said, well, I don't know if we can do it. Because I like to take things and think about them a little bit. Sometimes you want to sleep on them. But I just did it right then and there. And that's really, and the, and the writing and the vocal all on the same day. And I think that gives it a very fresh sound. So this song was, I was feeling very sort of uh, blessed on the day the song was written. Some days you wake up and you feel really lucky and blessed, and other days you wake up and think, why am I in this mess? So, but this was one of the good days, so I thought I'd write a good day song. Very simple piece, there's not a lot of elaborate orchestrations, it's just Lenny and myself and one of Lenny's guitar players. But as far as the concept concerns of this video, it's really I have like a story. It's just really this the steady cow and me moving through all these locations. And all the people in the locations don't take notice of me at all. It's if I'm like not there, I'm completely invisible, like a little poltergeist in the store, like knocking things down and breaking things and buying things and trying people's coffees. So it's me walking through and dancing through all these locations and it's very manic in some and some very, in others it's kind of funny. I have to carry this camera, which is uh, not like a little video camera, it's like a, a regular 16 camera and it's on kind of counterweight and a weight with a long pole. So it weighs, it doesn't weigh that much, maybe 25 pounds or more, but it actually it's very awkward, so it's sitting on your chest. So when I move, it moves, and it's sort of rather unwieldy. And at some of these small locations, I bang the extras in the head if I'm really not careful. And as I don't really have any hips, um, I had to wear these, these kind of, pads that will make my hips, otherwise the camera rig falls off my hips, basically. 